It's working. Good morning. Uh, Let's see. Turn this on over here. Just in case that one clips out. Who's there? I can't read comments. You got to read comments I'm, for me. Honey, I'm still waiting for a live picture. Are you? There's Rich. Come, come. No, see? that's Rich. Well, I did. I pointed to Rich. You're pointing at me. Well, not on the camera. In real life. Well, in real life, I'm pointing to Betsy. There's Betsy. Say good morning, Betsy. All right. Wait, I got you squawking on here. Yeah, I was squawking oh, on no, there. I got you upside down. We are happy. We are, we are, I've been for the last five days, I've been saying, one more day, we'll be done with that, uh, that tender. Today, we're pretty much done with the tender. We're doing a little bit of oddball things that we can find. We've dispensed with some ideas. You know, as we wait, you ought to have a couple ideas you can just throw away at the end. We're not going to do. But, uh, so, if you want to ask questions about the tender or give us some ideas on it, you know, don't give me an idea like, well, you ought to go back. I am not going to go back. Okay, we're going to we're going to move forward. Um, um, somebody got really bent out of shape on YouTube because we have star phone in this in this tender. It's going to pollute the waters of the ocean. It's like, I don't think you need you need to get a grasp on how much volume we're actually talking about here. Okay, because we picked our foam up off of a lake dock. Okay, so we actually took it out of the environment. You know, it's now beyond the environment. I love that video. Okay, so let me put some glasses on so I can see. See, the, the comments show up and then they go away. Well, I haven't even found it. New yet. Jersey. Hi, Ray. Kathy. Evening, Doug and Betsy. Evening. Yeah, you know, we just love our weather here. I, I was thinking about it. It's like it's getting gorgeous here. It's springtime now in the United, in, in this hemisphere. And you guys down in uh, Brewpeg and guys down in, in uh, Australia are thinking, Fuck, it's about ready to get really hot. It'll get hot here too, but we've got at least another month of, of good good weather here. Connecticut, Perth, Western Australia. See, that's that's what I'm talking about. You guys know the Perth, really? Two of you? Have any. Wisconsin. Yeah, you're ready for it to get warm, aren't you? Bra Brazil. Yeah, down on the beaches with all the the, the little skinny bikinis. Nice T-shirt. Yes, it is, isn't it? And you can buy this T-shirt, can't you, Betsy? Oh hell, I don't know. I can't even read comments. Yes. 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 They're um, going by quickly. Yes. Well, yes. You'll, Thailand, really? You know, there's a great place to build a boat. If you wanted to just uproot yourself and uh, and go over someplace like Thailand, because they got, you know, the labor's cheap still over there, and they got a lot of people that know a lot about boats. Georgia. You know, I'm Jacksonville, this Florida. Teeny one, and I'm telling you, I don't know Somebody said it was freezing. I'm sorry. Yeah, we had snow just two weeks ago here. Okay. Are you still figuring out your comments? I can't find them. Oh my God. Are you, you need to get a seven year old to help you out with it? Yes. Okay. You, what? Yeah. What are you uh, using, an iPad? Just chill. It's okay. Life goes on. Yeah. Even if I can't you can, read She comments. can complain, but you cannot help her. No. Okay, you just let, you just let Betsy don't, go. Don't even go She'll say something about it. Don't offer help. I mean, it's just, it's, it's not worth it. Well, show them the boat while I try and get this. I will. I'll show the boat while we're trying to, while Betsy's trying to read comments. Because yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go back and get them. When's test day for the dinghy? Okay, that's a good question. I get, I can get that one. Uh, we don't, we don't. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, she found it. We don't get, we don't do, we don't call it a dinghy because it's 16 feet long. I don't think a 16 foot long boat qualifies as a dinghy, okay? Now, I don't care if you call the big one a ship or a, a boat, you know, or just, or a barge even, you know, it, I'll take whatever I can get on that one. But this one, for some reason, dinghy, it's just offensive, okay? Because this has, this is 16 feet, so we call it a tender. And it also has to go with its name, okay? Because we named it. Actually, we didn't name it. Hollis, Hollis, named, Hollis it. named it. Hollis, if you're out there, thank you. We don't love the name. The name of the tender is, get it? Ready? Love me. Okay. Yeah, then, you ready? Yeah. Love me, under, love me, sweet. Never. Do. And I don't know. Make my life complete. Okay. <laughs> Never let me yeah, so, hey, it's so, this is one thing I need. Somebody out there, I actually have a few of you, and I wrote to one of you today, I can't remember who, uh, um, have vinyl cutting machines available to you. And it doesn't have to be multicolor, it needs to be two color. Two color would be nice, like two stickers. One in black, we need, remember that, did you keep that image of Elvis, that little, little short one? 
on images, and I'll show them the image. You want me to try and find something else on this little thing? <sighs> I was lucky to have found top chat. Okay, if you go to if you go to um, if you go to Google and you do Google images and you do clip you art, the, fat Elvis? the little fat Elvis, I love the fat he's got Elvis. A huge head and a little, and he's got the hair on his chest. He's showing. Uh -huh. Elvis Presley is the guy we're talking about, and so we want that, and then love me across the tender. You know, you don't have to just say I want this word in pink and blue because when they vinyl cut, they can actually almost like. 3D it because you've got a color with a color over it and oh, so you yeah. have outlines so it, it, well, it actually have, it, yeah, fancy be fine but we, we'll take generic I want the Elvis in, in black because it'll show up on nice I liked my welding Elvis but. yeah you did a welding Elvis but he's got too much detail the head will be good from a distance you'll be able to see who it is we gotta help people out like not everybody's gonna know who Elvis is anymore we like fat Elvis I do I like fat Elvis too all right so tender um, forward deck very lean cut on the bow, and that's to get it to sit low in the water when you come up here on the deck. So the bow's back in, so we're hoping that when you put enough weight up here, it'll push this down, and this hits the water and becomes a, a good work surface to stand on. Um, we're very happy with the sail material, sail cloth, because it's easy for us to build and repair. It's held up very well. Uh, so is the foam with us climbing in and out. We're not doing anything to take care of that. I think what we'll do if we've got a place where we often step across is we'll extend a piece of aluminum out as like a, a step plate. Otherwise, you know, there's no, so you, so we don't accidentally damage it because it does have a little bit of give to it, but it springs back. So I'm very happy with that. This is one pound per cubic foot back here. And up in the bow, uh, we've got two pounds per cubic foot. And then I have a strip laid in along the top that is the, um, that, you know, leveled this piece with the, the, the hull itself. And that's also that two pound per cubic foot, which is... How many times do you think Fat Elvis could stand on that before you damage it? I don't know. I don't want... Well, maybe it's, he's, I don't think he's really dead. There's a conspiracy theory. Remember that one? Where okay. Elvis was still alive? So the next thing is, you're going to take this engine out. Yeah. And we're going to put lead bars in it. That's it. We go... Oh, I was, gonna, go I was saying that. I was answering your question. Stephen Cox is, uh, is, wants to come back up, and we like Stephen Cox coming back up. He was here when, he, uh, when we welded it together, and he got the engine started and running and turned up the fuel on it uh, so it has more horsepower. Now, he's going to come back up. We'll put it in the water, and uh, the first time we go in the water, we're going to take the engine out today. We're going to roll the boat out of the, uh, the shop, put it on its trailer outside because we can't because Rich went and welded this beautiful stanchion on back here for the... Uh, the light and so it won't go up on the trailer inside the shop anymore so uh -oh. yeah we gotta roll it out then put it on the trailer then put it off to the side till june so sometime in june well i think you should sink it before june because when he comes otherwise his, no. his thing is once the motor's in it maybe we'll see if he wants to do it that way but it wouldn't be hard we just take the boat out to the lake in June, the water's warmer. And we just what throw the throw the motor in the back of my car and no, no, we'll, we'll come. We'll, no, it's just, just twenty minutes up to Sky Took. So we'll run it up to Sky Took with lead bars in it. We'll shove it off the trailer into the water. We'll we'll put one of the elephant trunks down, and flood it, and we'll see how much where she floats fully uh, when she's fully flooded. Because we have foam even on the back of this boat, back here in this compartment. This is all foam, so. That'll be underwater normally. So I'm thinking the normal water line will be, you know, that up in here. And so fully fl uh, flooded, I want to see where she sits. And I'm hoping she sits level enough that if the engine's still running, we could push forward and the water still goes back. And the water goes out these, uh, these elephant trunks that we have. And they're now complete. Oh, yeah, let me go over With lines and everything. And then just pull one up and lock it in. And so normally these trunks will be up and we made these cute little brackets that they hang in so that's their normal stowed you only put them down you know if you're going through surf and you think you might flood the boat or you forgot to put them down and you're going through surf and you did flood the boat you reach back there and unhook them and let your water flood back out the uh, there's two big four inch holes in the back down there underneath the fuel tanks um so the engine comes out the lead goes in we take it to the lake I think I'll take the fuel tanks out because I don't want them involved in the mix. It actually would add flotation to it, but I don't want to water in them. So I'll pull the fuel tanks. And the fuel filter will get pulled. Oh, we can leave the battery in it. It won't matter. The bilge pump. 
We'll take the air cleaner out so it doesn't get soaked and just let that flood. So we'll be a little more negative than what we normally would be. Oh God, I love this. Yeah. Are you going to have a backup outboard motor mount? No. No. I'm not going to put an outboard on it. We're going to put. But a, we're going to have. We'll put a sail on it. Uh, so up here on the forward deck, this is where the, uh, the the davit on the large boat goes across where these lines are drawn, and that's a, a lifting point. And there's a step for a sail. Um, and Neil, one of my buddies out rebuilding a fiberglass boat, has a has a little. Um, like a sunfish sail or something like that. It won't be enough to really push this boat unless you had a good wind, but it'd be fun to play around with it on a windy day in a, in a flat bay. So, yeah, and not a serious sailboat, just kind of like a get home engine type thing. And you have these cute little gauges, but miraculously yeah. there's two gauges we don't have. Miraculously? Oh, like you had on your boat? Well, like, no, yeah. like most people have a fuel gauge you don't need a fuel gauge. Fuel gauges are stupid. And I don't even have I, a fuel gauge on the big boat. Well, I do. I'll have a sight glass. And we don't have we don't have a speed or a. Who cares? What's that other thing called? An RPM. An RPM. Yeah, you got an RPometer. No, what are they called? Tachometer. Oh, I like RPometer better. RPometer. <laughs> we don't have an RPometer. We don't have a speedometer. No, you get your cell phone out. Your cell phone will tell you how fast you're going. Not. Unless it can pick up on things, we could be in. We could be There's in no the place. South Pacific. You have to. You have to. You have to be at the your... freaking North Pole before you don't so have satellite coverage. So how are you going to keep this from hitting the back of the big boat? Oh, somebody asked that. Yes. Yeah, that's a cool question. Uh, we're going to be launching and recovering now. Launching is easy. So see up there. Maybe you can see that. There's the two davits. Can you see those davits up there? Yeah. Yeah, on your camera. I'm still looking at me. Oh, it's, be it's behind, yeah. So those two davits up there, off the back of the boat, is where this tender hangs. So she hangs pointing that direction, right? For some reason. So those are each able. Each one davit alone is enough to carry the entire weight of this boat. Uh, but there'll be two hooks, so one there and there, and a hydraulic control. So you pull a rope, it'll open up a spool valve. You go into the water, you undo the hooks, you're gone. Getting back up, though, is a little bit more of a challenge. But the trick with these davits is, you see all the little holes? Yeah, they're, they're right in the middle of the davit. Not the pipe that goes on all, all the way out. That's for handling sails. But we can hook a line onto the very end of that pipe, which is beyond where the tender side is, and run that line diagonally back in to the side of the tender. So when we come up, we'll grab those lines and heavy seas and um and hook them onto the side of the tender that'll hold the tender from going into the rudder and the transom of the larger boat so those lines would hook up you know on the uh the the side of the boat that's closest to the ship so over in there and then that gives you time to hook up your lifting points <clears throat> and pull the handle because then it's got to be an, en an engine has to kick on like our vmac oh my god i love our vmac okay it's got a big ass uh, hydraulic pump on it now and so it, you can put it in a remote so that we can kick it on anyway the vmac engine will kick on and hydraulic will lift it up now that's a slower process to lift out of the water so you're going to be getting that wave action behind the boat and if the boat's heading into the wall into it's making a little bit of forward progress it keeps the tender pulled off the transom you know except for large waves coming by so it'll be something we'll play with but i'm very optimistic that we can do a recovery in fairly large seas and it'll be one of those things we just get experience with as we go along but anyway, the, then the, uh, you get winched up out of the water. People, cargo, and everything. Stop. What? Okay, so somebody asked if you were going to have a snorkel, like a Range Rover, and then oh, somebody yeah. else answered it, but I don't think everybody has time to read all the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the cool thing about this boat. Let me step up and, there, Rich. And I want to say... Freaking Rich, go go step over the side of the boat. I want to show him this. you got to see this, okay? Mr. Kettenhund. Wait a minute, hold on. We're not going to swamp Watch. it. We're going to gently sink it. <laughs> Isn't that, that just, ah. Oh. <laughs> like, you know, there are some huge advantages to being, how tall are you? Six foot seven. Six foot seven? Yeah. Now. So is always going to be that noisy? He'll bang. Yeah, it's always, always? going to. Well, no, we're going to tighten that one down. That one, that's just loose, so it's rattling around. So, 
Yes, this is where the dangerous uh, wing nuts go. It's over those bolts right down there in the corner. And if you step on one, oh, you're going to regret it. Okay. I read the comments. Calm down, all right? If, if, you, if you're that, what's the gentle word? Pussy's the one that comes to mind. Precious. Precious. If you're, I love that. The British have such a, such a key tone for sarcasm, all right? If you're that precious, stay off my boat, okay? Don't get on it. It's a work boat. It's like, you're barefoot? Okay, then watch where you're stepping, right? There's dog shit out here. All right, so here we go. So this is the snorkel. So it goes down, has a, has a pipe coming off the bottom up there, and then goes into our air filter. Yes, it's an air filter. Yes, it's an air filter. It has RTV sealing it up, and it's over here, so it's, it's watertight, and it's bolted down. And beside it is, you see, the bilge pump and the uh, check valve. But this is the air intake. And what we did up here is super spectacular. It's got a little fancy gadget here that turns. And we can actually friction it. It's just held down by that, that little piece of pipe, you know, off the, the handrail here. So while you, you're sinking rapidly, you have to remember to swivel that thing? No, no, it's an anti-theft device. That's no air to the engine. So when you rotate it like that, it cuts off, it blanks off the air intake. It's also your safety if you get a leak. There's a thing called runaway that's engines. That's our th no theft device. That's your no theft. You got to know to turn that before you start the engine. And you thought my lawnmower was weird. Your lawnmower is, is broken. Okay. I it's cut, not broken. It worked fine. It, it did not. Those damn safety switches. Did it not work fine last week? It, it did. It worked fine last week. I cut all the safety switches off of it. They're gone. It's okay. Scary shit now. That's. Crazy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like you can get off the seat and get in front of your mower and lay down and let it run over you. You know, if you're that stupid, you need to be removed from the you gene know, pool. I had this gravely mower. And it was like a 1950-something version. I know, those were and I, wicked. And I rode behind it on this sulky. It had been my grandfather's. And it was like you couldn't help but sing Green Acres. And it, went, it didn't go very fast. Yeah. It took me six hours to mow the lawn as opposed to three and a half that I can do it now. But anyway, you'd be going along. And one day, I'm mowing along, minding my business, singing Green Acres. And the Green little bolt Acres breaks that holds the sulky on, me. and it bucked me off the back. <laughs> and it kept going. <laughs> and by the time I caught up with it, yeah, it had gone over the wood pile and it was headed for the neighbor. Not toward the lake, though. That no, was for right. the neighbor. The neighbor, yeah. Yeah, I would rather have gone in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I hadn't heard that story. You show you, I'll show you the bottom of this thing if I can. Maybe you can see. Oh, I can see if I look at that like that. Yeah. See, it's got a, it's got a rain guard out here. And then back up in there is the... the Big, better than two inch diameter. Well, it's I not a diameter square arguing. hole. Arguing. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's called sarcasm. It's not arguing. You, you'll know arguing when you hear it. Um, okay, so that's it. Oh my God. You know, just three gauges and, and, uh, and three switches. And there's more wires in there than I care to think about. Because these things are lit. And that's going to be the fuel on. That's the start button. And that's uh, navigation lights. So, how much does this thing weigh? Dry. Uh, dry she, without the engine. As opposed to swamped. We think she's about 600 pounds, and the engine is um, about 360 or 70 pounds. It's hard. You, there's not a good number on YouTube about it. So, I'm going to put like 380 pounds of lead bars in here. I can measure those. Andrew asked if we were basically going to pull it tight to the back of the ship after lifting. Um, probably. Yeah, yeah. So, Duh. yeah, well, when we're, well, if we're not transporting. Well, when we're not, we're not transporting, we're going to fill it with ice and keep beer in it. <laughs> that would work good. It could be a live well for fish. We'd well, be the rednecks. Yeah, door's going to slam. So, yeah, um, it will, it'll get pulled tight into the top of the davits. We're going to put some kind of a pad on the davit so these rails would just, you know, pull right into it. And then we'll have another strap. Charles Cook knew the name of it. He taught me, but apparently he didn't teach me very well. But then, what good is a word that nobody else knows the meaning of? Well, you have a lot of them. Uh, but it's a, it's a nautical term for a strap that goes diagonally underneath the a whaling boat most of the time. And there's the another one. The diagonal whaling strip thingy. Yeah, and there's another one that comes the other way. So it makes an X. So one davit could break and one of the strap would still hold the, the, the boat. So one or the other dad was Okay, break. now this guy has a question, and, and so we'll do the I strap also thing. have this question. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to put this cutesy little sail on it, right? Yeah. We're going to have in case 
in case something happens or we're just bored. Right. And okay, so um, the problem is, yeah, we don't have a keel. Well, but this is a deep V bolt boat, and we don't have a tiller. Yeah, well, that's easy to make. Well, we're just gonna hang you off the back. Well, yeah, we actually could just clamp a plate to the the jet pump and use it as a tiller. I did that on the submarine. I had I had a plate on there. Okay, so Victor, Victor is having Victor's word today is the short word. Victor is really having issues. He's using the fuck word a lot. No, the short, short. If short. alternator gets wet, short. Oh, short. Battery doesn't short over metal. Wood under it? Is there wood under it? It's. We should put concrete because batteries like to sit on concrete. Yeah, that's an old one, isn't it? Well, it's earth. When you set them on the ground, they drain. They used Victor to be made of, worries too that much. That was back when the batteries were made of wood. Oh, he's in New York. That oh, explains well, that it. explains it. People in New York live too close to other people. They're like rats in a small cage. They start eating each other after a while. Um, yes, there they'll be shorts. It's twelve bull. You're gonna wear shorts? Seriously, look. <laughs> Here's the deal. If the engine's running, you, you don't need the electrical power. It's a diesel. It does. It has no electronics on it whatsoever. But how are we going to run the gauges? You, you don't need the gauges. How about the horn? You don't. There's no horn. It's got to have a horn. We have to have a horn. You just go honk. We have to have a horn because you cannot leave Denmark without a horn. I'm, we're not. We can. If we if we let us into Denmark, they'll let us out. I guarantee England they'll let too. us out. England, too. They won't even let us near England if we don't have Band-Aids. Yeah, that's true. Anyway. Is that true? That's not true, is it? Pretty much. I think it's, well, I can't say things, bad things about okay, they France. They don't call them band-aids, they call them plasters. Uh, Maxime comes next week. Maxime, if you're out there, looking forward to meeting you. We lose, we lose Rich here in two days. He's been here eight days. So what's, what's, your, what's your time? You've been, I, he came and I thought, we're gonna be doing a little work on the tender, then we'll get into the hull of the boat. We're still here on the tender. But, it's, it's, yeah, you liked it? Uh, it's been great, I learned a load of new skills. Yeah, he, he really did. Learned a few things. Yeah, he learned to weld. Yeah. Learn to use a plasma cutter. Uh-huh. Tap. Yes. What else did you do? Drilled. Drilled. Lots wiring. Of, yeah, wiring. Yeah. Lots of new skills. He's um he sells um enzymes, enzymes for genetics. <laughs> He's he works for one of those big corporations that does that's going to create something or help create something that's gonna end the world someday. <laughs> Depends which conspiracy theory you listen to. Oh, yeah, look at our uh, Look at our beautiful little uh, anti-siphon valve. You can buy these for like 35 bucks from like Total Boat, but that, that's gorgeous. It costs less money. Um, so it's a gate, swing gate check valve that'll let air in and break the siphon between the uh, line that comes up from the jet pump and the one that goes down to the, um, oh, I've got a video coming up. You'll love this, uh, to that fitting down there, which goes into the uh, exhaust line. So it feeds water into the exhaust, then it goes back through a rubber hose into the muffler and then up out the lift muffler and out the back. And Rich even made this gorgeous, look at that. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? And he did all the work on this thing too, the stanchion. So, and I just love having one that we can grab onto. And he did all the work on uh, these, these pipes up here. Oh, and pipe bending. You've got a lesson in pipe bending too. Beautiful job. We just went ahead and crimped them, but man, that works great. You get a nice tight 90. And we're not going to flow anything through it. It's really just a handle. So, beautiful job. We were going to put bench seats up here, but we decided, no, nah, it's just not. So we decided they'll be on the way of gear. And, you know, most times they'll be on, there'll be something up here anyway. You can just sit on it, like a bag or a nice chest or something like that. Okay. Oh, the shorts thing. Listen, you can take a 12 volt lead acid battery and put it into seawater and see what it does. And the answer will be not much, okay? It'll discharge after a while. It'll create a little bit of chlorine gas because any seawater leaks in through the vents. But generally it'll just sit there and produce 12 volts, which is nothing. Uh, even in seawater, it's nothing, okay? People are get really freaked out. Oh, you can't put that in. Yes, you can, I've done it. It works fine, okay? I wouldn't do it with a brand new battery. But it works fine, okay? They're most, I think like 90% of the shit that we're afraid of is just bullshit. Yeah. You know, it's just bullshit. Somebody read something on the internet and then they passed it on. You know, remember this when you're, when, you're, when, you're in, when you're living your life, okay? There are three things which you are programmed, you're hardwired 
to, to think about and to listen to. And that's anything about food, because that's your survival. It's anything, <laughs> it's anything about, I'll, I'll use the other word. It's any, I've already said fuck today, so I can say fuck. Yeah, they're already on you. They, it's it's nice words. food, nice fear, words. and fuck. Anything that's scary, we're programmed to listen to it because it kept us alive for eight eons, right? So or think about that. You're programmed to be fearful. Whoa, somebody just gave us money. Wow, they can do that? You must have clicked it so they could. I didn't click it so they couldn't. Oh, thanks. Oh, Daniel. super chat. What is that with that Daniel green says, thing? I really enjoy your videos and knowledge. And is there a possibility of the air intake anti theft closing on rough seas? Good question. Good question. How much money did it give us? Five dollars. Five dollars. You know what that means? That's tacos at Mexican Corner. Mexican Corner tacos. I just spent a hundred bucks at Home Depot this morning, too. I thought you went to the auto store. And where are my aspirin? I didn't, I didn't give them to you. She Betsy's on aspirin, heavy dose of aspirin. She's she's up. This is her first day standing, and I saw you doing a little jig on your knee. I I wasn't jigging on. Well, my you knee. had a little, you had a little your movement on it. That's good. So she's on a brand new knee done on Tuesday, not replaced but repaired. Arthroscopy. 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 Arthros I don't know. Oh, he knows. He's the medical thing. Arth what's that again? It's because of. It's Say it in an English that. accent. I mean, a real English accent, not your English accent. Hi, Betsy. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, let's see. What was I going to show? Oh, this. It's got that little thing. It's that rubber. So you just screw the, um, the, the wing nut down. It pushes the hose against the top of it. So it holds it on tighter. So if you need to, you adjust oh, it. Oh, 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 oh. What? Oh, the guy, this guy that was worried about the, the swamping guy. Yeah. Kettenhoot. Kettenhoot. Ten bucks. Sweet. Okay. Raised any takers? My God. Now. Did I say anything bad? Did I say anything bad about what you said? I'm. If I did, I take it back. Okay. Andrew, one dollar. Oh my God. Now you can have a drink. Are chiclets a dollar? I'm a. I am i can not can not have the corn anymore. I'm on a diet now. We're 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 all we're on diets here. Okay. I seriously have to stay alive. You got lost. It dropped my blood pressure. Like I'm back into the normal range already, but I still need. I need to get. I need to be like one. I need to be like 200 pounds, not 200 okay, anything so else. How fast is this thing going to go, you think? I have no idea. I have no idea how fast <laughs> this how thing fast is going to go. How fast is the big one going to go, you think? Uh, that I do. Because if you get enough wind in your and you keep your sails up and you got your engine on, if you push everything we have into oh. it, she'll make 11 knots. And that's just a factor of how long she is. JP doesn't know about the engine cooling. Oh, JP. Uh, there's a, so what happens is, and part of this was designed by, did Parker do this or did? No, um, you did this. I've had so many people work on this boat. I need to make a list. Um, Parker Klein's been working on our, on our uh, now that's what trailer for carrying the big boat out there. We're, this is pre-Parker? I think so. I think you kind of had this idea right. before he ever got here. All right, well, we are, but not doing it like this. Lars did this. Lars made this, um, this cylinder here. It's a pipe with a bottom welded onto it and a top. And it's got a pressure cap on it. You can buy the filler neck and the cap from lots of racing stores have it. I think we got it off Amazon. And then, um, and yes, somebody else asked earlier, there's a, there's a return and a pickup from these fuel tanks. Both of them have one. I'm just going to tee them together so they act like one fuel tank. But anyway, the, the, the pump system. You know, that could have saved John Denver's life. It comes back from this tank and into the engine. It comes up from down below. And down below is this C channel, which is welded to the hull. It goes down, turns, and comes back uh, on another route. And then that goes into the suction for the pump. There's a hose underneath, which isn't on. We didn't bother putting it on because we're going to pull the engine today. But that hose goes from the uh, water pump down to this other one down below. So that's the circuit. It's called a keel cooler. And there's some uh, there's various estimates as to how well these things perform. Uh, and it's kind of funny if you go to the company that sells keel coolers, you can see how big a horsepower an engine and how much surface area is there in their pipe. And so you can extrapolate from the surface, the length of the pipe and the diameter to what the surface area is. I've got way more than I think is going to be necessary because we're using not steel, uh, we're using aluminum and aluminum is thermodynamically conducts heat like lightning. I mean, when you're welding on it, it, it just, it, you can't have your hand, you've learned, yeah, you can't have your hand anywhere near it because it'll warm up really quick.
Muchas so. gracias, Chico Gomez. Chico Gomez. Um, ¿De dónde vive Chico? Oh, okay, what would that? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Siete, yeah, ocho, ocho, nueve, diez, diez, once, doce. Chico. Trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, dieciocho, diecinueve. I think I just skipped seventeen. Veinte. Is that 20? That's 20. 20. 20 dólares. Sí. ¿Americanos um, o pesos? Americanos. Americanos. Bien, gracias, amigo. Uh, and that's pretty much the limits of my Spanish. So, uh, you know, after that, it's Google Translate. My God, it's your friend. So, and the other thing we cool we, we figured out and did, well, Rich did, is we put in uh, conduits for the wiring. So these are just some of our lightweight pipe, and they're welded in. And so you can see another one going there. That thing is the, that's a coupler. I mean, I'll tell you what, I'm having to use three of these to get back to the oil gauge. They just don't give you enough of this line. But anyway, that's a coupler. And I ended up having new, and this, see? So all the wires are, are nicely controlled. What's that little white thing down there? The only thing left to do, what's the white thing? That's the bilge pump. Oh. And when you want to put it where it's deeper in the water so you get more. No, out of it. no, it's real important to keep your bilge pumps. And I learned this from a, a book called, um, I don't know, it should have been, oh shit, is the name of the book. Uh, it was about the uh, the Bounty, the newer one that was built for the movie, Sinking. And they had crap that kept getting in their bilge pumps. And so they had to stay down there and man the intakes to clean the, the paper and debris. So the, the, click tr the truth the bilge pumps is put them where you can access them so that you can uh, clean them out because everything's going to end up in the screen around the bilge pump. So this deck is real easy to pull up and reach down two clips. The bilge pump actually comes out. So while it will be deeper in the back, I don't care. We just let that water stay there because it's more important to keep the thing working to me. Oh, we put a big old filter in too. Um, I don't know. It's in, it's, it, it, Steven, I'm, it's not a cop. It's not a fram. I was only kidding. You knew that. But this is an IFJF. I've never heard of it before. But it uh, seems like it'll work fine. It's got, it came, it was cheap off Amazon. It had the, uh, the housing filter and the water separator all, all together. So that's plumbed in. And we just welded it onto Lars's uh, tank with on the bracket. So Did we're happy. Send Everything you, a... you maintain is kind of over there. The battery, the oil, the fuel filter, the, the coolant level. Someone sent you a bunch of mail cutters? Yeah. 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 That would be Tim Miller. As ah, a milk did he? cutter. Yeah. Yeah, I got your milk cutters. Thank you. I appreciate you doing that. I mean, talking about a donation, that, that those things are hundreds of dollars. Oh, my God, Dave. You are so nitpicky. Is the larger boat a junk or a sand pan? It's whatever you want. Yeah, I'm going to call it junk. I think a sand pan. I don't... The sand pans would have junk sails, though. But they're more of an inland-type boat and a river boat is what I think of. A You're reading too much Chapman piloting. Let me recommend a good book. Chapman piloting, yeah. <laughs> Betsy, Betsy knows more about sailing than I do. She's been on the water a lot more. It's mostly thinking the jigs, but when you sail alone or with just one other person, you usually know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's kind of a lousy thing to use nautical terms on in general because it makes people think that there's some vast information and knowledge that they don't not aware of, and mostly it's just a rope. No, they're not milf cutters. They're mill cutters. <laughs> That's funny. I don't care who you are. That's funny. Okay, little BDSM with the MILF. Right. Okay. Okay. So, um, are you wet or dry blasting the whole way? When are you gonna do this? When's this? We're wet blasting it. You can closer. go steer. Yeah, I thought I'd be doing it in the spring, but we're building this thing you know, instead. Like to come and then you say, "Hey, let's sample we'll, this." We'll, I'll we'll, be right back. You start. We'll, I'll be we'll back burn. In a we'll burn through volunteers real quick when we start sandblasting. Yeah. There, there have been a lot of questions. People want to know how do they come help, and 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 they hey. need to go to the website. There you go. To about us, and there's a page called Welcome Aboard. And it tells you all the bad stuff. Yes. Because if Betsy you can't, wrote it. If you can't, you no, you rewrote it. You I, wrote this one. Did I? If you can't get up the ten foot ladder to the loft where the bed is, yeah, you're, gonna you're have not to, getting on the boat. You're gonna have to, yeah. So we're so, gonna have to accommodate you. I don't mind accommodating if if you're physically uh, disabled, um, but I need to know and I need to plan around that because otherwise I got to stop work and do something else. So that, so that's the reason why we ask, what kind of physical shape are you in? 
because it, and it, it doesn't mean that you can't come, you can't help, you, you, we can't use your talents. We can't. Everybody's got talents and things we can use, but we got to know up front so that when you get here, it's like, oh, well, we're planning on working in the hole and the gangway's out of the, out of the line. Now, we do do tours every Saturday, and yep. you can come see what it's like and then schedule to come back and work because the first time that you come and volunteer, yeah. you have got to put in two full days yeah. in a row. Yeah. Saturday and Sunday or Friday yeah. and Saturday or some other days that, that are scheduled with Doug. But you can't just show up and think, okay, they, they look okay. I think it's okay. I can help you a lot. I don't see any blood on any of the tools, no, so we're going we're gonna to stay for a while longer. Yeah, you're welcome to come by and check us out. I, I, re I recommend you doing that. Um, but I really do need you for two days in a row because anything less, you know, I just, I spend too much time the first day just showing you where the tools are and, and getting accustomed to you and chatting with you and, and you know, and so the next, the, so two days, we really get enough work out of you that it's worth it for us. But come by and look at the boat anytime you want, spend 20 minutes, 30 minutes walking around it and, uh, and watching us, but doing that and then getting to work, that's, that's rare that we'll let you do that. So. You guys are great hosts. I've been very welcome here. You heard it from him. You want to say it louder? You guys are great hosts. I've had a fantastic time learning some new <laughs> skills. I recommend it. Yeah, we're okay. Also, we're not bad. Also, we're very straight with you. It's very seldom that we have more than one guest here at a time. Yeah, we're trying to keep and that down. The reason is the more people that are here, the less sometimes we actually get accomplished. Yeah. Because Doug gets on Saturdays particularly because you've got tours and Doug gets pulled this way and that yeah. way and I go into total hiding. Yeah, that's you true. Don't see me at all. So we're keeping and, it we're um, keeping the the body counts lower. And I got the the local guys and they can come by anytime they want pretty much. Uh, because they know the drill. You know, they've been here before and everything. And um, so it's no big deal with them. But we don't pay. No, we never pay. Yeah. If we, if we give you money to make you leave, that tells you something right there. <laughs> we, um, but no, it's for the joy of it. You come to work for the joy. Yeah. And to meet Doug. Yeah. And find out that no, he's no. really nice. You have a hole in your crotch. I know. Well, don't look. I How can I not I'm wearing, look? I'm wearing underwear. How can I not? Are your Waldo? Are they the Where's Waldo No, no. Ones? They're just gray. <laughs> oh, okay, wait. I got something. All right, so... Yeah, so we do welcome you to come and, and help. We're going to be closed in July and August. Unless you want to work in here, uh, we're going to move the boat out and do sales in here. So Betsy and I will be selling sales this July. Now, we got this like almost, this, is this has been six weeks ago. and I, I, We're going to have to put them in with uh, Rich's pumpkins. Well, the problem is, is one, I think I think it's from Lauren's Gizenberry. Gizenby, I don't know. Handwriting, not so great. You must have been in Doug's class from Portugal and it came and it was like our US mail really tore into this because yeah, they, they obviously bag. were also wondering why the hell okay here there's another one. Oh, is there yeah Portuguese turnip seeds why <laughs> I mean why I mean I obviously well, we're gonna try them they're going now, in the ground this spring now yes I am interested in Portuguese sweet potatoes which I think I can find now at, well maybe these are Portuguese sweet potatoes. no 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 those are turnips are they really turnips it says turnips bola de neve and nambo globo roxo turnips is that what that means well, roxo means come turnips? On, somewhere on there it says turnips in English those are turnips they in look Indian like language, turnips those are turnips, which are great raw and, and in ranch dip. Okay, they go on the new diet. The new diet is fruits and vegetables. And... I don't think oh, really no barbecue, no ice cream. Uh, Here. Here. Oh, what's this? Spring? Oh, is this a, yeah, okay. You need, this is the code? That's the coupon code at the top for a week. Spring 15 in our store. 15% off, off something? Of Anything you want. Oh, it says right there. Shirts, mugs, Anything. thermal mugs, hoodies. If it's in stock, you get 15% off. Which means we're still making a lot of money, which is nice. Which is, which is well, we need to move some merchandise. Because yeah, I do. need to get some new stuff. I haven't let Betsy sell anything in a while. Okay, so so we still have we have these gorgeous, gorgeous Discover mugs. I've used these it. These really are nice. If I learn to drink coffee. You drink hot chocolate, you drank yeah. cider out of it, you've had soup, you've had chili. Yeah. 
chili. Yeah. And it makes a good donut cu uh, biscuit cutter, but we can't have biscuits anymore either. Beautiful. There's our mug, okay? It's got Poseidon and our dragon back behind it. On the other side, it's the uh, quote from, um, oh, what's his Mark name? Mark Twain. Mark Twain, Explore, Dream, Discover. I think I got the thing See, all. I like it because it's, it's all matte, backwards on here because I'm using the camera. It's a matte white finish, so it doesn't, so paint doesn't come off of it. Right. Touch it. I didn't flip this around this morning, so everything's backwards. Okay, just, it's okay. Yeah, just get touch over it. it. Explore, Dream, Discover. Written backwards for your edification. Okay. Then we have these thermo mugs, and they're available in two colors now. Yeah, because they screwed up and sent us the wrong color. Yeah. So So this is a hell of a deal. We even, we even have a higher season. profit on, on the blue one because that was the, the goof up. But yeah, those are the thermal mugs. And I just love these things. I drink tea out of them. I never, I never keep the top. I always toss the top. And you know, it's it's the, the inside. Okay, look. If you drink a lot of tea like Doug, it stains the inside. Oh, Let's yeah. Let's be honest. The trick. But there's this wonderful Clorox bleach in a spray bottle. Yeah. And you just spray it. And, and it's, it's like, like a new cup. It's like, I mean, it's instantaneously, it's cool to watch. Yes. But we have some hoodies left. Um, there's some things I'm out of sizes, and we've got to reorder. But we need to make room because these oh, coins are going to come in the coins soon. Are, do you have one of our coins? No, we're not doing that right now because I don't have them for sale yet. And, oh. and don't. We have, we have our coins in. And we have the coins on their way from uh, from the coin company in China somewhere. And we got coins coming in for, uh, let's see, I, I left him off the list last time, poor Scott. I always I call him Steve. Uh, Betsy's have, a crotch looker. Yeah. Yes, she is. Uh, let's see, Steve's boat is called Sea Dreamer. Well, that's maybe not be the name of his boat, his name is Channel. Sea Dreamer Project, and then, uh, help me. Uh, Leo at Samson Boat with Salt with and Tar, Salt and Tar, um, Rusty Junk, and there's one other. Acorn. Acorn Arabella. Yeah. There's six total with us. They're all hyped up because they have springtime up there too. I'll watch their videos. I expect to see them next week. The coins. The coins. Yeah. Really? No, okay, this saying. Jay guy. I gotta. I gotta say something to this Jay guy. All right. Does Betsy do laundry for visitors? You know what? <laughs> Jay? Betsy doesn't make your damn bed. Jesus. Betsy Jay. doesn't, you know, you can cook your own damn Jay. food. Yeah. I'll show you the grocery store. Furthermore, we now have a policy that you have to clean the apartment before you leave. Yeah. And we've even gotten you a new Ooh, toilet $2. cleaning brush and all sorts of cleaning you, products. Andrew. And we loan you the vacuum cleaner. And you actually get to clean it yourself. Let me Let me explain how this works here a little bit, okay? This process is building the boat. Yeah, we're building here, and, and a lot of people come here, and I understand you've got no interest in, in, um, in going sailing or being on the ocean. That's fine. But we're, we are calling and recruiting crew, uh, people that will go on the boat on the ocean, people like Lars and, 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 and uh, Rich, and you know, there's a lot of them that will sail on this vessel and when you're sailing on this vessel we are not a cruise ship there is no champagne and strawberries in this you brought it on you better have brought enough for everybody else okay it's that kind of boat you do your own damn laundry you clean up after yourself and there was one rule i saw and it's from your skipper clipper ship race if the if the skipper me found something laying out of line that was yours you left laying somewhere he pick it up and put it into the sea chest okay it's called a slop chest you had to buy it back, okay? If I have to clean it up after you, it's going to cost you money, okay? So don't leave your skivvies laying out where I don't want to see them because I will pick them up, put them in the slop chest. You'll be butt naked until you pay for those skivvies back, okay? So that's the way this boat operates. It's not, we're not a catering service for anybody, okay? If you can't take care of yourself, you do not want to come, okay? We looking, we're looking for adults that are diaper trained and know how to care for themselves and don't need their nappies changed or their, or their, and if you're offended by rough language or anything like that, or by somebody else's doing something that they wanna do, don't come. We're not looking for people who get offended easily. We're looking for people who are like, oh man, he's strange. Okay, I can, all right, I wouldn't know, do that, but it's okay. As much fun as we look. Yeah, there's, there's work I'm to be done. You, at nine o'clock, we're beat. Yeah. So if you think you're going to come and drink beer all day and all night and weld with one hand and drink with the other, you're probably at the wrong place. Yeah, the rules are in proper order. Rule number one is get the job done. 
Rule number two is have fun. And rule number three is, what's rule number three? Safety. Yeah, see, you got to throw it in there somewhere. So there it is. Safety. Okay. Now, that's an email for me. I don't need to see that. There we go. All right, there you go. So that's that's pretty much a summary for us. So anyway, we are pretty much, we are uh, booked through May. We might, Got we have a little in time in June. We are closed, July and August, closed. Yeah. It is too damn hot. If you want to come help on sales, you have to be very specific, and we have to see whether or not we can use you because yeah. we you gotta don't You've got to be able even, to lift. You have to be able to lift. We're going to have sales. to redesign this to be a sale off for two months. Yeah. And we're not going to have a lot of space, so it's, we no no camping, no. I mean, it's just, yeah. We'll have the apartment, but that's it. And so we'll the have, sale making will kind of be a deal where um, the sales are heavy. You got to be able to stand. You got to be able to lift. Uh, it's not just sitting at the machine, you know, pushing the pedal and letting the material go through. That's that's the easy part. Most of it is moving this three hundred pound piece of canvas around. So it needs some physical effort to it, but. The, the good side is it'll be air-conditioned then. We'll, well, the yeah, but as long as we don't on. have very many people opening, when you go in and every time you go in and out the door, the temperature drops. Yeah, I'm going to yell at you like my dad did. And Not a, just, my mom did. Not it's a barn. It's horrific. But, I mean, you know, we know that, that a lot of you live in cold climates, and summer to you is very pleasant. Yeah. Well. Yeah, it's not pleasant here. We Once you hit July, August. two months ago. Yeah. Once you hit July and August, it's hot. Are really hot, and I've, I've had enough t years where you know, and, you know, I'm not faulting anybody, they help out. But I mean, you get guys from the north, and even me, you know, it's like hit two o'clock in the afternoon, and you're just dead, and you're stupid too. You make start making dumb mistakes because of the heat, just shuts your brain down. Now, um, we should say, get well, Bart. Oh, yeah, Bart's been, Bart's been out for the last couple of weeks, he's got allergies that are just killing him. So, I thought mine were bad, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we yeah. go over and see Bart, but he, he's been a recluse, staying yeah. inside. I couldn't even get him to go run errands with us the other day. Well, gosh, it's not like it's a lot of fun or anything, yeah. but you know. But he's, he's alive and well. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Okay, I think I'm, We're done? I'm fini. Cool. I'm done. All right. I know I've missed something, but... Well, um, we'll no go. No more turnip seeds. Arizona equals hell on earth. Yeah, I've lived in Arizona. I, I can agree with that, especially inside Phoenix. Once you get out in the desert, it's not as bad. What's hot in Tulsa? Yeah. 35 centigrade? Boring. Oh, McFarland says it's boring. But, hey, centigrade. boring? This is the way it works. It's your life. You can change that. Okay, so if you're bored, go do something else. Okay, cool. All right. Um, let's see. What else have we got? We're That's gonna it. We're going to go sailing as soon as we get this stuff done. Well, right, you're yeah, now offici oh, I'm officially, you're officially retired Monday, Monday. Uh, however, however, no job, however, we are unemployed. We do not work on Wednesdays ever. Well, yeah, ever. Mo Wednesday's my day off. That's, that's what we're going to try and work out. We got to keep on Which that. Just cool. We have things to get done. Aaron's this week walk we in the have park. Betsy goes back to the doctor. Is that right? Yeah. Get your stitches out? Yeah. Cool. Okay, guys, appreciate it. Love you very much. Thanks for all the support and kindness that you show. And get out there. And what did you make today? Okay? Have fun. Let's see. Um, oh, and we'll go back and read the, the, the... I know you haven't seen the coins yet. You will shortly. And that one.